Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice cubic equation. 64x squared minus 64x cubed is equal to 3. We need to find all possible values of x. We can write this 64x squared as 8x squared minus we can write this 64x cubed as 4x cubed is equal to 3. Now we can write this 8x as 2 times 4x whole squared minus 4x cubed is equal to 3. Now according to this property of exponents a times b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n times b to the power n. This power 2 will become the power of this 2 and will become the power of this 4x. 2 to the power 2 times 4x to the power 2 minus this 4x cubed is equal to 3. Next this is 2 squared is equal to 4 times 4x squared minus 4x cubed is equal to 3. Now here we have 4x and here we have 4x. So we suppose that let 4x is equal to m and we substitute m in place of uh, this 4x and this 4x then this equation becomes 4m squared minus m cubed is equal to 3. Now we move uh, this 3 to the left side 4m squared minus m cubed this uh, positive 3 becomes uh, negative 3 at left side is equal to 0. Next 4m squared minus m cubed. Now we can write this negative 3 as we can write this uh, negative 3 as negative 4 plus 1. We write this negative 3 as negative 4 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we write this 4m squared with this negative 4 and this negative m cubed with this plus 1. Then this expression becomes 4m squared minus 4 minus m cubed plus 1 is equal to 0. Now from these two terms 4m squared minus 4 we can factor out 4. 4 as a common factor and in bracket left m squared minus 1 minus this m cubed minus 1 is equal to 0. Now because uh, here we have m squared so we consider this one as 1 squared and because here we have m cubed we consider this one as 1 cubed. And according to this algebraic identity, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This m squared minus 1 squared can be factorized as 4 times m plus 1 times m minus 1 minus according to this algebraic identity, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This m cubed minus 1 cubed is equal to m minus 1 times m squared plus m plus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here as you can see this expression m minus 1, this expression m minus 1 is a common.
common factor so we factor out this m minus 1 m minus 1 as a common factor and in bracket left in bracket left this 4 times m plus 1 minus this m squared plus m plus 1 in bracket left 4 times m plus 1 minus this expression m squared plus m plus 1 is equal to 0 next m minus 1 times 4 times m 4 m and 4 times plus 1 plus 4 this minus will changes the signs of these terms this positive m squared becomes negative m squared and this plus m becomes negative m and this plus 1 becomes negative 1 is equal to 0 next m minus 1 times we write this negative m squared first negative m squared and this 4m minus 1m plus 3m and this plus 4 minus 1 plus 3 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression m minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression negative m squared plus 3m plus 3 is equal to 0 from here m is equal to 1 and from this equation since we have here negative m squared so we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1 negative 1 times negative m squared positive m squared negative 1 times plus 3m negative 3m and plus 3 times negative 1 negative 3 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula in this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 3 and c is equal to negative 3 and according to quadratic formula m is equal to minus value of b minus 3 plus or minus square root of value of b negative 3 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 3 divided by 2 times value of a 1 and m is equal to this minus and this minus becomes positive 3 plus or minus square root of negative 3 squared is 9 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 3 plus 12 divided by 2 times 1 2 and this is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 plus 12 21 divided by 2 so from here we get two values of m m is equal to 3 plus square root of 21 over 2 and m is equal to 3 minus square root of 21 over 2 and first we get the value of m 1 m is equal to 1 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 4 times x is equal to m we have supposed that 4 times x is equal to m now in this equation first we put this value of m 1 4 times x is equal to value of m is 1 and this implies x is equal to 1 over 4 this is the first value of x now in this equation 4x is equal to m we put the value of m 3 plus square root of 21 over 2 4 
x is equal to value of m is 3 plus square root of 21 over 2 and this implies x is equal to 3 plus square root of 21 over 8. This is the second value of x. Now in this equation we put this value of m 4 times x is equal to value of m is 3 minus square root of 21 divided by 2 and this implies x is equal to 3 minus square root of 21 divided by 8. This is the third value of x. So these are the three solutions of this equation.